Hello, Masters. Happy morning and a wonderful evening. So, happy Monday. Uh, thank you so much for coming over to today's meditation and wisdom sharing session. So, Masters, today uh, I wanted to share on a topic that uh, we have earlier discussed, maybe a week or two before, when I brought up the topic of choices and uh, uh, owning those consequences of the choices that we have made in our life. So there were many uh, tributaries on how to make a right choice and how to persist with the choices that we make. So today we are going to talk about one of those aspects of those choices. Um, coming to the uh, topic for today is that when we are talking about the choices and the consequences of those choices that we make, um, one thing that I've come uh, across is that when, of course, whatever is happening in our life, is our choice that we are taking up, whether you're doing it consciously or whether doing you're doing it unconsciously. But ultimately, it's your choice. So everything is our choice. That's period. There is no discussion on it. So the other aspect on it is that why are we not able to take proper choices in our life and other thing, right choices in our life? A choice that would make us to reach our goals or make us to see what we wanted to or what we dreamt of. Why are we not able to do that? And what if we are taking that right choice to uh, achieve our goals, but why are we not able to sustain that choice? So these are the two things I feel that uh, we will have a discussion on it, uh, on these two things of how, how we are not able to take the proper choices that are required for us, uh, what is making us to stop that. And the other thing is that why are we not able to sustain uh, those choices for a very long period of time? So when I was thinking over it, I felt that may, there are many attributes to it, but there's one important quality that will help us to enhance uh, these or make us the correction required is the idea of perseverance. So today we'll talk something about this uh, concept of perseverance and how do we see to it. So when it comes to uh, perseverance, what do you mean by perseverance? The definition, uh, the cliche uh, dictionary definition that we can talk about perseverance is, Perseverance is nothing but it is that continuous effort that one has to do to achieve something despite whatever difficulties or failure that you come across or you face or even the oppositions that come across uh, when we are doing up such things. So perseverance is that continuous effort uh, that is required to achieve something despite the difficulties, despite the failure and despite the oppositions that we come across. So this is one important quality that will help us in sustaining our choices for a longer time and also making us to pick the right choices. Now, this is one important quality, it's also important, which is also very important that needs to be imbibed uh, for us to continue with the spiritual journey also, because spiritual journey is also not easy. So there are many a times people, we hear stories or we come across these uh, people who have been long meditators or who have been eating uh, you know uh, vegetarian food for a long time and I had one of my friend who was um, uh, vegetarian for about 10 years um, suddenly transformed to become a non-vegetarian so I had a discussion on it what made her to take that u-turn on becoming a non-vegetarian food when she completely believed and she did it for 10 long years and the spiritual journey comes up also has its own set of uh, uh, obstacles, own set of things also. But so perseverance is also one of the important things that when we understand it properly, we can use it in different arenas of our life. And it is also said that, you know, being successful is definitely not easy. But problem here is that unfortunately, many people, they just give up on their own choices, even before they have given themselves a chance to succeed in what they have chosen for themselves because they are lacking this uh, quality of perseverance in them. They're lacking this quality to stand out there to face their uh, obstacles or face the difficulties that are coming in their path. So perseverance is an Im very important because we will all uh, always face challenges in life and it is that one skill that will definitely pay off in those times where it is most needed. Because at every stage of life, no matter how much success you have or how many goals you have achieved, there are bound to be definitely barriers. There are bound to be obstacles that block your path. 
so to overcome these challenges and to move forward we need excuse me we need you and me and everyone needs to be persistent we need to perceive through that situation so we need perseverance at that point of time so um, i remember of this beautiful uh, spiritual tablet that we talk about uh, is uh, called as a two tablet concept of warrior and non warrior uh, this is a tablet from spiritual tablet wisdom capsule so it says that you know uh, everyone needs to be like a warrior is this warrior is someone who faces obstacles or challenges and does not stop trying just because things are looking difficult or things are difficult but instead she or he finds a way to keep moving forward even when times are very tough so this is one 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 most important skill that can be used uh, by everyone that will lead us to a greater success in every area of our life whether be it in your professional front at your school at your work in your personal life with your relationships and also even in our spiritual life because it's very very easy to give up in difficult situations and when challenges pop up it is very easy easy to give up when things look very tough when relationships are not working when we what we are expecting is not happening in in particular scenario it is very very easy to give up on things and also on people it is very easy to lose hope on people and also on situations also and um, you know that's you know often people does not make that effort to learn even something new because they are afraid that they won't be able to do it because they have that fear of failure and definitely to learn something or to um, imbibe something or to work with something it will take time it will take effort and it will take definitely patience uh, to learn something new so we all have definitely lot going in our lives our time is very very limited as we look into it so it definitely seems as easier to give up on things and you know uh, not to continue with them not to perceive in difficult situations but when we encounter these obstacles in life we want to push them out of way so that everything goes very smoothly for us but that's not how always life works so we all we have to run into these obstacles we have to face those situations we have to perceive them we have to be resilient in those situations because when we imbibe these two qualities there are so much more qualities that we we'll learn from when we uh, get through that situation so that perseverance is that skill that will help you stay motivated and it will help you to keep working more hard with the things working to overcome or to achieve better things in life and it's also important to stay motivated and keep working hard because we always said to have why are we not able to it's as simple as that why are we not able to uh, get over the choices or not able to reach our goals or not able to work in a situation on in whether it's in our job front or in our relationships is that we all usually put for ourselves even with ourselves also we all we all have long term goals and short term goals for that we need to be motivated so staying motivated staying motivated means that even after years and years and years of work and lot of difficulty and endurance that you have gone through in that process you still have to look forward to seeing at your finished project or finished product so for example i'll give you you know there is a big challenge for many people in setting goals and milestones especially if you are having an ambitious plan uh, that is for a long term period suppose if i want to lose 50 pounds of weight by somewhere january of 2025 now what i have to do is that i have to you know it looks very long and you know sometimes uh, the choice that we want we want really want to look into those uh, choice but we won't take that choice because it looks very difficult losing weight for 50 uh, 50 pounds or uh, uh, losing by the year 2025 is like no way i am i'm getting lot of festivals in between there are marriages in between uh, how can i uh, achieve it and there are a lot of questions that you will get and even though if you want to look at that choice it looks very difficult for you and you'll turn out and look and take another choice that is you just uh, you know eat whatever you want and you just want to be okay with whatever how or however you look and still nagging inside that i am not looking good every time you see in the mirror so here we need to understand that for achieving long term goals we need to be very logical and we have to put very short term goals that are also very important that will help us to take into right direction so how will we progress how will we perceive to that situation it looks very long term it taking it's taking more than 2 years 
now with respect to that for example you you start putting short term goals that is you will put a goal that i'll walk 10 miles every day uh, till 8th of august till today that is 8th of august 2022 and instead when you look back you have only walked for 7 miles last week instead of 10 miles but what what you have to say to yourself is that congratulations i have done progress because we should not discourage ourselves but we have to look at those weeks that we have taken time and walked for 7 miles and when you uh, you know congratulate for every little uh, effort that you have put up on uh, then you'll start perceiving you know you'll start uh, having that patience you'll you know you'll start going through that particular um, goal that you have kept through and eventually those weeks you know will progress and you'll start uh, piling up those 10 miles every day every week so i think you know understanding becoming logical and you know having that uh, idea that how do do i want to achieve goals even though you see obstacles or even you though you see difficulties will help you to perceive in that situation we need to be logical and we need to use our intellectual mind also sometimes on setting up right goals so anyone who has achieved great things know that their success was not at all immediate it took them years to see the results from their hard work just because something does not happen right away does not mean that it's not important or it should not have been done but we need to be motivated or we need to motivate ourselves until we reach our goals so how do we motivate that becomes on how what type of project that you have taken or what type of goal that you have set it there should be a motivation around it we need to perceive through that thing so if you can perceive through one tough challenge just one tough challenge you will have the skills to keep moving forward in future which is very important so it's very important that you pick up a challenge and you perceive through that challenge because when you perceive through that particular challenge you will gain extra skills to keep moving forward whenever you face such kind of challenges and even more than that in the future so for one thing it's perseverance is definitely to the key to the success so if you are able to push through even the most difficult challenge you are more likely to achieve your goals in whatever front they are let's say Uh, again you know i am talking about this weight which which is very easy as an example i am taking you can apply it in very uh, in any aspect we'll discuss after the session also so let's say you set a goal of about losing 20 pounds by summer that is an ambitious goal and it will definitely take hard work it will definitely take dedication to achieve it but if you succeed in perceiving through this challenge you will gain the skills that you need to succeed in other areas you know you will gain the skill on how to be patient uh working whether it's your job or your graduation or your school or your school or your study whatever it is you will know how to make uh, short term goals long term goals how to work around it so these the skills that additionally that you will develop is self discipline discipline you will have determination in achieving things which definitely can be used to um work in other areas also in other fronts also so that dedication that working hard all these things are the what do you say um beautiful gifts that we understand and we uh, learn when we perceive through one one just one difficult challenge in life and that will definitely help us to go through all other challenges that we have in our life and will help us to take right choices and will help us to move away from fear and face on and uh, make us to face head on on what we want to achieve with respect to our goals because each one of us here have want to achieve so many things in our life but why are we not taking up those choices or why are we not taking uh, that particular road or that pa- particular pathway when we try to introspect we'll see all these things are coming up as an obstacles that are preventing us from taking up those challenges and another reason why preserving uh, perseverance is very important is that it helps us to develop grit you know grit is a combination or a word that can be uh, used for a combination of words that is courage and determination when you perceive through one difficult task or one goal that you have set for yourself which looks very high like a mountain of mount everest when you try to climb that particular goal or achieve that particular goal in your life it will give you courage and determination to face all the difficulties no matter how difficult they become later for you in your life so perseverance will help you to make progress even when things get tough which is very very important for any future success that we want to do so when you want to work to your work towards your goals and dreams there will be obstacles and definitely setbacks but if you perceive you will make progress you will learn a skill that will definitely help you to pay off in the longer runs and in all areas of your life and uh, 
if anyone can you know work through their own hard times it can definitely open new opportunities for you also because you are more likely to find new opportunities when you persist in whatever you really want to do so per perhaps for example you are scheduled to give a very short speech at an event and you are feeling very nervous about speaking in front of audiences so after over, when you perceive through that situation you won't by not giving up that on that situation saying that you no know, there are two choices that you can take you can either go to the people and say that uh, dude i am not able to give the speech because i am feeling nervous but you'll relax for some time you'll see the you know you'll take a step back you'll just take some deep breaths and you'll relax for yourself and you'll see that you really want to do it and you perceive through that particular 10 or 15 minutes of uh, of uh, overcoming that initial nervousness then you'll definitely manage to give a speech that shows that what you are and what's important to you and as you overcome this challenge you may find that public speaking is something that really interests you you never know so once you have given that speech you will know that okay whether you like it or whether you don't like it so when you perceive through that particular just 10 or 15 minutes of in initial nervousness and when you go there and give the speech you will know what you are and what is important and how you can uh, perceive things in your life so this discovery may open new opportunities to you may help you evolve in a different career path in your life or in your personal life you know you can join into many debates or many toast masters or many speaking public speaking um, uh, opportunities that you can pick up and you can be a motivational speaker you never know but that just 10 minutes of perseverance uh, perseverance there of taking up that choice that okay let me face it will definitely open new opportunities for you will open a new arena or new career for you so finding such opportunities won't be possible if you just give up when things become tough so you can learn more about yourself through these uh, challenging situations when you perceive so perseverance can help you learn also more about yourself because as you work through difficult situations you may you may definitely learn something about your strengths one and definitely something about your weaknesses too so as you work through a difficult exam or a job or a relationship problem you will see what works for you and what does not work for you you will see what motivates you and what does not but all you need to do is that you need to perceive you need to be there you need to face that difficulty you need to be in that situation and head on face it then only you will know what are you are what are you truly are what are your strengths what are your weaknesses and you'll clearly know where you need to work on and definitely you'll also learn about your emotional triggers also you know how to because when you are facing those situations your emotions start popping up in different ways then you will know what is triggering your emotion and how you can work on it and how you can overcome them so perseverance teaches you more about your character in whatever situation that you are facing to and it will help you to identify things that where you are really willing to work hard for so it will help you to spot that right thing that you need to do or uh, next time or the next right step that you need to take so perseverance can help you to develop new strengths new skills all qualities that are required to be successful for you in the future of course it's very it's also uh, important that it's also right to say that you know success there is nothing like success and failure is just an experience but in the materialistic world when you say that you won't if we say that you won't be successful in everything in life but if you perceive that will makes that will definitely make it easier for you to face setbacks and overcome them when they just come up into your life again it will help you to be more uh, uh, endured and strengthen your uh, emotional uh, uh, intelligence also so if you are uh, you know uh, i think in this always perseverance is very very important that's what i felt that uh, it's not only important that we learn from our mistakes but also we learn how and why we um, perceive and why perseverance is very important uh, character that one needs to have to go through their journey in this lifetime because it will help you to um, not flicker around uh, but to pick up one choice and stick to it and and you through it and learn from what you can um, for whatever choices that you have picked up in your life i think this is one quality that is required which will help you to make right choices which will help you to give courage you know gives you that courage and determination to take what you really want in your life and do it to its fullest
so this is something a little uh, of my own idea or my own uh, viewpoint on why perseverance is very important uh, to face any situation in life so i really like anyone to speak on this topic and share your own uh, idea towards it thank you yeah master yeah lakshmi ma'am Thank you, lovely ma'am, for this uh, beautiful session of identifying goals and uh, after identifying, planning step by step the baby steps. What each one of us want to see, no matter even if you fail, it's okay. It's a it's a temporary failure. and then probably after you do to even notice your feeling whether you like or dislike that doing so it is again reassuring your goal and helping us to understand about ourselves more and it is what i feel is like what you know every rain drop does adding to river and every little river or a stream adding to an ocean and definitely perseverance is something which we do every day every day isn't it it is the same thing what a, a homemaker does you know what is that person so the keen intent the eagerness of doing that goal is something which determines the perseverance i feel you know the intent to if a homemaker is cooking every day the same variety maybe with permutation combination but the intent or the eagerness is to cook and be having a nutritious food for the family and for herself so it is beyond the words that perseverance is beyond the words right similarly when we identify our goals many times a homemaker you know cooking goes here and there wrong forget certain things but still she comes back because her intent is so keen that she has to feed her family so same way i feel the perseverance exists everywhere definitely what i feel when we have challenges when we keep on adding one after the other goal like goals when they increase in multi directional then definitely as mentioned by lovely ma'am to incorporate those multiple things in a day in a time wherein i feel priority for that day takes little bit which so you can do two or three things there's no wrong in doing it at the same time you should accept that all 100% cannot be in all two or three things you will be 10% here you will be 40% here you will be 50% in the third so that acceptance also should come because many of us try perfection in every angle in every step or every goal so you cannot be perfect at the same time in all pitches yeah thank you ravli ma'am thank you for bringing this beautiful understanding of perseverance because as we ahead new things and new steps definitely many of us take a back seat just thinking what if i fail it's okay it's okay to say that i am failed but at the same time you know in wordly that this is a temporary and you are making a invisible step towards that wherever you want to aim at thank you thank you uh, uh, thank you lovely ma'am thank you so much i think uh, perseverance is a very near and dear topic to me because uh, uh, throughout life i had to persevere so many challenges you know growing up as an underdog and go through many many challenges uh, and for example coming to us my visa was turned down two times and uh, it's a long story but i you know but it, at the third attempt 
you know, I got uh, my visa to come to United States as a student a long time ago in 1974. And, uh, you know, again, uh, talking about uh, speaking, public speaking is not something, it's not natural uh, for many people. And uh, initially it is uh, nerve wracking and uh, so people are afraid of, uh, they can jump off a plane, but they are afraid to uh, public speaking. So I had uh, gone through training, uh, going, going through Dale Carnegie training and uh, uh, public speaking as an engineer. Engineers are not good speakers. So I had to really persevere and uh, take a lot of uh, criticism, uh, constructive as well as uh, the criticism, which is not uh, you know, very flattering. But uh, you, I, I think that is where the perseverance. I said, I have decided I want to be a, a good speaker. And uh, that paid off in the long run. A lot of times, uh, you know, some, the failure, every, uh, there are no failures. If you look at uh, Thomas Edison, uh, he said, oh, um, Mr. Edison, you have failed 600 times. And he said, no, I found out 600 times how it doesn't work. <laughs> so I think that is a very important thing, you know, whether it's writing skill, communication, is one thing that you have to really persevere and uh, look for uh, role models. And, uh, uh, and also when you look at, uh, you know, life itself, you know, as uh, uh, you have, um, uh, as a mother, you know, a homemaker, and goes through so much of raising the children and uh, the hardship. You know, children always don't behave right away. You have to, you cannot give up on them. You have to make sure that they, they do well. And same thing, a teacher. A teacher also tries in school, make sure that they do their homework, they learn. And that's what brings the joy uh, in making a difference by persevering uh, difficulties and uh, challenges. And also it's exciting to have uh, a challenge. And I think if something comes easy, you know, it, it's not really, you don't appreciate it. The moment you work hard and you, you fail or you don't succeed and you keep on trying it, at the end, as you say, Eureka, you know, you are so happy. You are so happy that you are able to achieve that. I just want to share something personal. I, uh, during the COVID time, uh, I was doing online uh, doctorate in business administration. And uh, somebody you know, in the 70s trying to go for, you know, DBA is not an easy thing, but uh, the, um, I, th I think the uh, COVID-19 pandemic helped me and uh, that gave me an outlet. And uh, I just, uh, uh, completed all the requirements. I'll be graduating October 1st. So I just wanted to share oh, that. It's all perseverance. Yeah, that's, that's the important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. I think that's a beautiful example on yeah. how... Yeah, sure. Sir. No, 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 I think, uh, congratulations, Upendra, sir. So we, I didn't know this. Uh, yeah, this is something that you can... Be taken as motivation from you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, really, sir. Thank you, lovely ma'am, for uh, bringing up another uh, interesting topic, uh, perseverance. Uh, like open uh, sir, uh, that is also my favorite uh, topic. Uh, so I just want to highlight two things: why we are not uh, being persistent. Uh, most of us, uh, whenever we set goals and uh, we tend to fail uh, for obvious reasons and various reasons, we accept that reasons and start uh, procrastinating and uh, uh, not uh, being persistent. So let us say you take meditation, attending a meditation session daily. That is your goal. And sometimes for reasons uh, known to us and unknown to us, uh, uh, we tend to be absent on a particular day. And next day also we accept. And next few days also we tend to become lazy and not uh, attending. So that becomes a habit actually, and which is going to be a stopper for uh, being persistent. So don't uh, try to find reasons, just attend the session next day and keep going. So uh, uh, I can uh, say this because uh, I think I've completed almost 600 days uh, of meditation without uh, any stop. 
Uh, this I take inspiration because I, in government uh, public sector companies, I have seen many guys not taking leaves for 20 years, 24 years. In all those articles, I got uh, inspiration. Uh, see, not taking leave for 20 years, 24 years, just see the kind of sacrifice and uh, the kind of determination and the great like what you said, it's courage plus determination. So that those are the examples we have to take inspiration and uh, being persistent. And another thing is uh, you need to be, you need to publicize that you are uh, setting a goal to be persistent. For example, uh, let us take uh, smoking, giving up smoking. I have given up smoking when I was uh, 35, very young. Uh, most of my friends here know of uh, uh, bad smoker I am. I used to smoke uh, almost uh, two packs a day for almost uh, 20 years. So one day, just uh, on the day of my birthday, I just, uh, uh, I just by, I did the, some homework in my mental uh, framework that I should not smoke from my birthday. And I, on that day, I just uh, uh, stopped and that's it. And uh, I've completed almost 22 years and I've never touched uh, again. So these are the important things. See, you, you need to set why you are being persistent. That means you, are, you need a motivation, you need a goal, and then start doing that. One, two times failure also don't, it should not stop you. You need to be persistent and definitely results will come. And uh, thank you, Upendra sir. Uh, you are an inspiration for all of us. And uh, congratulations uh, for being graduated. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Ravli, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, Srini, sir. Yeah, beautiful inputs, yeah. So yeah, we can talk a lot on the idea of perseverance, but when you, that's what, you know, having short-term goals in achieving that long-term goals. And once you uh, have, uh, get that particular task done as Upendra Sarah has said, whatever in his life, beautiful example of the public speaking skill that he has talked about. But once we give that enough effort and end you to that process and see what are the setbacks, really want to do it or not to do it, and once you, you'll get an idea that whether you really want to pursue that particular profession or that particular stream or that particular interest of yours. But for that, we need to perceive. We have to have that perseverance. Otherwise, we don't know what we truly are also. So that's why it's very important for our spiritual journey also. So yeah, thank you so much for the beautiful inputs. Yeah, anyone wants to share anything? Please, otherwise we'll start the meditation. Okay, masters, and yeah, thank you so much for the beautiful inputs. Yeah, we'll go into meditation for today. Just relax yourself. Sit in the most comfortable position. Remove your spectacles. Close your eyes. Just cross your fingers. Crisscross your legs. Take a couple of deep breaths. Take a deep inhalation. Inhale. And exhale. Take one more deep inhalation. Inhale, expand your lungs, expand them, fill up your lungs slowly and comfortably and exhale. One more deep inhalation. Inhale. Now let us do some 
body relaxation and we go into our meditation. We use some body scanning technique which brings relaxation to our physical body. It's a very easy technique that needs to be done before meditation so that we enjoy the process of meditation. Whenever I pick up a body part, I scan that particular body part. Bring that awareness to that particular body part. Take an inhalation and start observing your forehead. Scan that body part, forehead of yours. Keep up with the breathing. Bring that full awareness to your forehead. Scan it. Observe it. Observe your cheeks, your jawline, your ears, your lips. Start observing these parts of your body. Bring that awareness. We scan over these body parts. Keep up with the breathing. Feel the sensations. Any tingling sensation, numbness. You're feeling hot, you're feeling cold. Just observe. In the awareness. Observe your neck. Scan your neck, your shoulders, your hands, your arms, your fingers. Just observe these parts of your body. Bring the awareness. Scan each and every part of your hand, your arm. Connect your body and feel the sensations. Observe your chest. Observe that expansion and relaxation of your chest when you take that inhalation and exhalation. Observe your stomach. You can feel the movements of your bowel. You can even hear some sounds. Put your attention, put your focus and attention onto your stomach and the regions around it. Just scan that entire abdomen region. Observe your back, your entire back, upper back and lower back.
Observe it. Bring that attention onto your back. Scan it and feel it. Observe your lower legs, your thighs, your hip joint, your knee joint, your calf muscles. Just scan your entire lower body, your feet, your soul. Scan it slowly and comfortably. Keep up with the breathing. And just bring awareness, your entire attention onto your lower body. Scan it. Bring your awareness onto your lower body and scan each and every part of your lower legs. Connect your physical body. Feel the sensations. Now, whenever you're ready, take a deep inhalation and start scanning your entire body once from head to toe. Keep up with the breathing. Just scan it once from head to toe. Bring that complete awareness onto your physical body. Scan it part by part from head to toe. Now, masters, let us come back to our Anapanasati meditation after our beautiful body scanning. Connecting to our body is very, very important. Our physical body is our beautiful makeup in which our soul resides. We need to take a couple of minutes every day to connect to our physical body to feel each and every part of our body, connect to it, 
bring that awareness onto it our body expresses itself through the feelings through the sensations that we feel that is the language of our body the more we get connected to our physical body the more we are aligned towards its needs So now let us start our Anapanasati meditation for the next couple of minutes. Anapanasati meditation. It's the most easiest meditation that can be done at anywhere, at any time. Ana means in breath, apana means out breath and being with the breath. As simple as it is. just start observing your in breath and your out breath no attention no focus don't try to manipulate the breath just let the breath happen in its own way you just be that observer and start observing that breath let it dance to its own tunes be the spectator and just start observing that breath be with your breath you might be get carried away by the thoughts but that's completely normal whenever you are aware of not being observing your breath just come back and start observing the breath
Masters, express your gratitude to this moment, to this time where you get to meditate, travel within yourself, connect with your true self. <laughs> 
to your soul. Express your gratitude to the wonderful souls who have come together to sit under this beautiful group meditation. Express your gratitude to the divine creation, to Mother Nature. We are an ecosystem. Living with all the other beings, animate or inanimate objects, visible or invisible to our naked eye. But we are an ecosystem. Express your gratitude to those beautiful plants, flowers, birds, all the animals. Express your gratitude to the Panchabhutas that make up you, that make up this entire creation. The soil, the water, the air, the fire, the space. Express your gratitude to your parents, to your mother, to your father, to your spouse, to your kids, to your grandkids siblings, the friends and extended family, the community. Express your gratitude for all the moments that you get to cherish with them, that you have cherished with them. Each and every relationship is about experience, it's about learning, it's about understanding about ourselves. Express your gratitude to them. Express your gratitude to all the things that you get to use in your day-to-day -day life. Whether it's your phone, your laptop, the utensils that you use in the kitchen, washing machine, the fridge, everything. Express your gratitude. Every object is vibrating with energy. As we talked about today's topic, perseverance, just to finish off with that takeaway from today's topic of perseverance, because it's a skill, no one is born with it, it needs to be developed and once it is developed, it will definitely come in handy throughout your life. So don't just give up on your dreams or ambitions just because they look tough. Because once we develop that ability of perceiver or perceiving in difficult times, you won't get discouraged easily and you won't give up on your goals easily. So for that, we need to work hard and develop the skill of perceiver. Thank you so much, all masters, for allowing me to share this idea of mine. And thank you so much for all your wonderful inputs. Have a great rest of the day and a wonderful night. Take care and always have a huge smile on your face. Whenever you're ready, just rub your palms together and put your beautiful palms onto your eyes and open your eyes whenever you're ready. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rolly Miran. Thank you for the beautiful session. And everybody has to go through this. Yeah, definitely there is no doubt. Yeah, thank you, sir. Especially for me, I have to look at it a lot and uh, I'll talk about sometime later on this. This is a beautiful thing. And, 
which I really need to look in myself and uh, practice a lot. Thanks. Yeah, Vadini ma'am. Yeah, thank you, Rolly, for the beautiful session. So you inspired everyone a lot, all of us. Do you are right? And uh, thank you, Srini, for the beautiful uh, motivation uh, which is given to all of us to continue further. And uh, congratulations, Supendra sir, for achieving such a great success uh, at this age. And uh, you all are inspiring a lot. And uh, your uh, topic today reminds me of the great uh, quote of Aristotle, uh, which I happened to read in one of the books. We are what we repeatedly do. So uh, this reminds me of that. And to achieve this uh, perseverance and all that. So what I feel is we should have a flow and we should continue that flow. And we should know what we are doing. We should know how to do it. And we should know uh, how we should go further and where to go and in achieving our challenges and skills. That's what I felt. And that is the takeaway for me. And uh, being free from the distraction only, we can go further. And when we achieve that flow uh, in continuation that we can be, we can have a more focused mind and being in the present moment, I feel that we can achieve that. Thank you, Rowley. Thank you for the wonderful topic which you have given today. And thank you, Masters. Thank you, Vadima. Yeah, Chagatim. Very good morning to all of you. Uh, Ma'am, today's topic was really very inspiring. I just want to add a few words that uh, a few basic words like uh, self-love is also very important uh, before we want to achieve whatever uh, our wishes, our dreams are. So daily practice of uh, self-love is also important and with affirmations, uh, like one of the techniques is mirror work. So uh, now suppose I'm having a, a stage fear or talking in top, uh, public, I need to uh, practice daily the mirror technique uh, with affirmations uh, saying that to myself that uh, I can do it, uh, I'm doing it and I'm doing it in my best way. And uh, this also brings uh, um, best expected uh, results because I too uh, was a victim of uh, stage fear. I was not able to utter a single word in uh, Zoom meetings also, but uh, this has helped me. So I thought I would like to, I should uh, share my experience uh, related to today's topic. So yeah. self-love yeah. with affirmations and a daily practice of uh, the simple technique of mirror technique uh, will also, also helps a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Sri Devi. Yeah, thank you so much, Ravali Madam. As uh, you know, um, I might have told in the previous uh, sessions also, for some reason, I connect to this 8.30 meditation and talk because whatever I am looking for that week, you know, what is ever happening in my life, that's exact same topic. I, you know, I don't know, maybe that's a coincidence or guidance from nature or something like that. It's many times it was matching, you know, um, and then I I just feel that uh, I got right message. Um, even though, you know, a lot of these we, we might know already, but, uh, you know, uh, conveying that right moment uh, inspires and, you know, get uh, moving towards that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Sridhar. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah.